calls to domestic abuse helplines have risen dramatically during this lockdown and it's a subject that Coronation Street has been tackling. We've seen Jeff mentally abusing his wife Yasmin for months and things get even more desperate tonight. Get it out. And open it. Oh, you've got a lovely zip action, Yasmin. Did you learn that at college with all your other brain box talents? No. Ooh, life is full of disappointments, eh? Oh, Ooh, look, what do we have here? Full of Yasmin stuff. Planning on going somewhere, dear. Poor woman, she was trying to escape. Well, Ian Bartholomew, who plays Jeff, joins me now. Ian, I hope you don't mind me saying, but he is one of the most hideous, manipulative, evil characters that I've ever seen on television ever. <laughs> no, I don't mind you saying that at all. He's supposed to be. That's, that's yeah. sort of the point, in a way. It really is. And we all want, we're all rooting for Yasmin. We all want her to get out of that situation. But what, what I think, and, and it's the way Coronation Street do this so well, it has been slow burning for a long, long yeah. time. It's very authentic. And I know, as always, you will have done all the research. Um, and, it, and it's very, very true to life. This is what happens. It's not just physical abuse, it's mental. Yeah, I mean, that's what we wanted to, uh, to, to focus on, that uh, domestic abuse doesn't actually have to be violent, but it can lead to violence. And there is always the threat of violence behind I it. And do. that's what makes it stick. And that's what makes it work for the perpetrator, as it were. It makes it much worse for the victim because you're never... They're never sure when it's going to explode into violence or if it ever will. But uh, Jeff is, um, he's a very nasty man. Yes, I, I don't like him at all. If it's any consolation, I have no, to say, I don't, I don't like him very nation, much at all. The whole nation is united in that. I mean, we were talking about this. They're talking about the fact that, uh, you know, domestic abuse sadly has increased during this time. And we, Seriously, one woman yeah, described it, it was really interesting. She described it as in normal times, it's like walking on eggshells. If you're a victim, it's like walking on eggshells. Right now, it's like walking on glass. And that's kind of yeah. what, it, what it's been like for Yasmin. I mean, he's chipped away at her confidence and her self esteem that she's just a, she's just a wreck. It's so, so sad. Yeah, I, I, we did a lot of research with Women's Aid and uh, an organisation called Independent Choices, Greater Manchester as well, and they've been very involved in, in the development of the storyline. And we wanted to do it as, as close to being realistic as possible. So it's been a very slow burn, as you, as you rightly say, and uh, that's, that's how people get involved in, 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 a, in a situation that they can't uh, control anymore with a controlling perpetrator or the, or the controlling person behind it because um, it, because it takes such a long time, you don't realise that it's creeping up on you. Yeah. And I think that uh, you get... Loads of people have said, why doesn't Yasmin leave, Jeff? Why doesn't he leave her? Why doesn't, he, why doesn't she just get out of there? Well, the whole point is that he's, he's pulled her in so far that she has no ability to make any choices for herself anymore and that's where the real abuse starts mm -hmm. and i think over the last few weeks certainly over the last few episodes jeff has become very nasty and cruel he's been fairly unpleasant most of the time mm -hmm. Um, but he's now become cruel and he's enjoying himself even yes. more than he was before. And, and that's what makes it really, really, really near the knuckle, I think. I mean, you're, but we're, all in, yeah, we're all in lockdown, so you're not outside, you're not getting reaction from viewers like to your face, if you like. But no. what has the reaction been to this storyline? Um, I only hear about it from, from other people. I don't do social media, I don't do Twitter or Facebook or anything like that. And because I live, I live in quite an isolated place now. So um, I very rarely see people on the street. And when I do, it's usually, all right, mate, how you doing? My wife, my wife calls me Jeff quite a lot because I'm, you know, she tells me to do this and I do that. And, you know, uh, people are actually okay about it. I think most people understand that it's a character I'm playing, not me. Indeed. At least I hope they, they, they know that. But um, to be honest with you, in, in my local village, I, I live just outside a village. They all know who I am and they leave me alone. And occasionally they go, oh, you're a nasty man, aren't you? You get you a know, lot of uh, that. You get a lot of that. But also, I, I think it's that, it's so helped far. people as well, though. It has helped people. Interestingly, you don't want your kids to watch. You've not been wanting your your kids to see this character. 
They didn't want to watch. They saw a couple of us. They saw me lock Yasmin into the box, into the magic box, and they said, no, can't watch Dad doing that. So they haven't watched it since then. And I can't blame them. It's, it, it must be quite difficult for them to watch their dad being rather unpleasant all the time. And it has been, it, it, it's, been a, it, it, it's been difficult because he is so not the sort of person that I um, would want to be or would want to be around. Yeah. And the fact that um, I've had to be playing it has been helped greatly by Shelley, Shelley King, who plays Yasmin. We both get on extremely well and we trust each other. Yeah. So that's made it a lot easier. But um, no, the, the children don't, don't watch it. And we don't actually know what's going to happen. We have seen trails. This is not a spoiler. We've seen trails where Yasmin thinks that she's killed him because, you know, she finally yes. snaps and has to retaliate, and she thinks she Quite has. Rightly. But we don't know. This is the thing. We, we don't oh. know, do we? And we've no, no we idea. Don't. No, we and don't know. And you're not going to tell just... us. You're not going to no. tell us. You're just going to have to keep on watching, I'm We afraid. are. And, I mean, right now, obviously, there's it's just three episodes a week now. Obviously, we, you know, we, want yeah. the, we don't want to run out of Coronation Street. But but right now, of course, nobody, nobody can do any work. I mean, I know the writers can probably work at home and they can have meetings and things, but you guys really... It, it must be quite strange. You must miss each other so much. It is very odd, it has to be said, but I think everybody's finding it very odd. And, and, and what is... Uh, I think in the forefront of everybody's mind at the moment is what happens after this is all over what happens after lockdown what happens when we get back to work because it will change it will change the the map of of, of how we work mm. and how we and how we make the program because we'll have to have social distancing we'll have to have smaller crews and that's the the headache that the writers mm. and the producers and storyliners have at the moment they're working furiously to try and pull the storylines that they've got back into some sort of shape that we'll be, a, we'll be able to tell in a different way. So mm. it, it's going to be very interesting when we get back. And yeah, and we do miss each other. But for me, just before we went into lockdown, I was absolutely flat out. And then suddenly, bang, nothing. Yes. It's very strange. That's the, that's that, the way that, of it. That's, but that's the job of an actor. That's the of life of an actor. Is. Of one course it is. You're working, the next in... minute, bang, there's nothing. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. If anybody can work it out, the guys at Corey will get it sorted.